Let's get my boy Ron Perlman, Hellboy himself, leveled up before we do. Absolutely. Oh god, he's so evil. I'm I'm pretty good. I thought we, we might as well check this out before we go on. So let me just take a look at the stats again. Because I basically started a dark side playthrough as well. Just so I can get a little bit ahead of where we are in video so I know what's coming up. But obviously I won't, you know, specifically know what to do because I'm playing a dark side character. Also, it's come to my attention that I was like really looking at the dark side through rose tinted goggles. Because the dark side playthrough for this game isn't dark side at all. It's just fucking lunatic playthrough. Now, there isn't a fucking lunatic on this bar, so I'll, I'll just call it dark side for the purposes of gameplay and game mechanics, but my god, it, nothing makes sense, right? Dark side, you'd assume, you know, it's like Sheev Palpatine, you know, going underground, working up the intrigue game, you know, slowly building up his power, training apprentices, that type of thing. What the dark side is known for being, you know, the dark side, the shadows. No, if you play as the dark side in this, like I said, it's just a fucking lunatic playthrough because you're like, hello, I'm Space Jerry King. I'm going to help you with a favor. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to kill you. And then you kill them randomly. Or like, say, for example, with the bit that we did last time where you can uh, help the, the Black Volkers or the, the other gang, the, the Hidden Bex. You can go up to the guy and say, yeah, I've changed my mind, I'm going to work for you guys instead. Go and murder the guy you were helping in the first place. Then go back to the guys you just agreed to help, the guys that you just double-crossed the other faction with, and say, no, I'm not going to be on your team anymore, fuck you guys. It doesn't make any damn sense. Like, it really doesn't make sense. And that's how you do the dark side playthrough, so... Fuck that, I guess. I'm kind of glad we did the light side, because at least this one makes sense. And plus, this one's canon, right? If you want the canon Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic story, here you go. This is it. It's the light side playthrough. Um... We can't level up with Space Jerry Kings, so we're capped to level 5. I am on my other save doing a 119 playthrough. We're doing the 515, like I've said before, gives us 15 Jedi levels because you're capped to level 20. The 119 playthrough is almost impossible. It's insanely difficult. You can't do the arena on the planet we were in before. Fighting certain enemies is incredibly difficult because obviously you're massively underpowered and barely any HP. It's it's nuts. Like I've, I'm really glad I didn't do it on these videos, let's put it that way. Right, Candorus. He has um, natural regeneration. So I don't think Tree Injury is actually that good. Honestly, I'd rather give him... I mean, we're only going to use him temporarily anyway, because he's kind of crappy unless you spec him out right. Um, we're going to have maybe one of the... Oh, no, we're going to do him the light side playthrough, aren't we? I don't care about Candor of Sen. Fuck it. There you go. Tree Injury. Who cares? You know, we'll just get him through this section a little bit easier. Now, he is... Your, he's your, your big, tanky guy. Big, heavy armor. Big, heavy guns. So I'm thinking we go for... We could go for something like Vitality. He's already got heavy weapon specialization. So we don't need to worry about that right now. We could go like rapid shot. I feel like that's not a bad idea because he has like a carbine rifle anyway. So it already does multiple shots per turn. So a carbine rifle plus rapid shot is going to do a shit. You're basically just peppering the room, right? And even if even if you only hit occasionally, the actual amount that you're firing is going to, you know, make up the damage. So again, we'll go treat injury just to get him through this section. Um, can we get him to... What do we need for master rapid shot? Oh, it's level 8. Okay, we're not quite there then. Um, I might just go vitality or, or toughness, which gives him extra vitality, funnily enough. Just to keep him buffed up. Fuck it, why not? Like I said, he's going to be the tank. He's going to be the one up front soaking up all the bullets. And I imagine his HP... Let's just take a look here. So his HP is uh, 91. Jerry King's, 35. He's got like three times, almost three times oh. Jerry King's. That's not including the armor either, which is obviously going to be pretty good, I think. Does he come with armor? Oh, he doesn't even come with armor. Holy shit. Um, what's his dex bonus? It's only plus one, so I don't really care about too much what we give him then. Um... That one gives defense bonus plus five, max plus four. But we can go for, okay, basically. So that's the best arm we've got anyway. The light battle armor, max, max dex bonus plus two. Um, he's capped there anyway. So this is definitely the best gear we can give him. Let's give him like the uh, reflex plus two, so more less resistant to uh, or more resistant, I should say, to blaster fire. Neural band gives will, so we should give that to Bastila. Will affects your force powers, so giving it to the Jedi makes the most sense. Oh, she's already got one. All right then. Um, what have we got? We've got the headband, which gives will plus three, awareness plus two. So for now, I'm going to take that off of you. You're going to get the neural band. Bastilla's going to get the verpian headband, and Candorus can have this one. I'm pretty sure it only affects force power, so it's a little bit pointless giving them this, but we might as well. Um, energy shields for you as well, even though I don't think you need it, because you're already a fucking powerhouse. Regis Glove gives dex plus one. I was trying to be a dex character, wasn't I? I don't know why in hindsight. Um... Going for dex and strength. Oh, I remember why I didn't equip those gloves. Because obviously the bonuses right now make sense. If we unequip the dex gloves, we go down to plus four. And strength will still be a plus four. So this makes more sense. Okay, I understand that. Um, besides that, I'm pretty happy with how our character is right now. Like our, our dex bonus is plus five. So changing the armor to anything else is going to lower our effectiveness in combat. I think we're good. I just wanted to recap quickly because I haven't played this for a couple of days. Um, we got constitution plus one. Now, we're going to glass cannon build, aren't we, with this dude until we become a Jedi, so this is fine. He's actually a pretty decent character. And then Bastila has her, like, weird will headband now. Give her the strength gauntlet. It's going to make her lightsaber hit a little bit harder, so that's fine. Um, she's got reflex. She's got shields. She's got no decent armor, though. Um, she can't equip armor. Oh, she's a Jedi. So Jedi can only equip robes. 
So, until we find Jedi-specific robes, she's sort of in a weird neon blue outfit, which I don't remember her having in the base game. All right. So, we're not supposed to leave our quarters. Uh, or we can specifically go down this hallway, and that's it. Anything else will be considered, you know, um, against what Davik has asked us, the crime boss who we're staying with right now. Uh, Airbnb is constantly going downhill. We're trying to steal a spaceship anyway, so I don't really care if I'm going to break some rules. Oh, weird. Is it KOTOR 2, then? It must be. In KOTOR 2... If you have a lightsaber, you can just stab it into the lock, sort of Qui-Gon Jinn style in, um, in Phantom Menace, and not have to worry about it. Yeah. But I suppose in this, you don't really get that luxury. So I guess you're just still bashing things. Alright, so we've got some footlockers here that we can't open. What? Um, oh, Jerry King has security? Did I give him no security, problem. really? That wasn't a bad idea, yeah. Brain. Holy shit, otherwise, um, you just have to bash these things, and you just you can, there's a chance you can destroy whatever's in them. No so I'm really glad we gave Jerry King security in hindsight, and that was a pretty really good idea. Ooh, hair trigger is good. That will help Kandoros' gun. I'm pretty sure his base game. I'm pretty sure all the base character weaponry is upgradable. All right. We get Bastard to open the doors anyway, because she's probably got slightly more damage with a lightsaber than we do with a fucking, you know, sword against a, what looks like a blast door. Hello. How are you? Uh, time to die? Sorry, wrong room. Okay, uh, excuse me. I want to steal your things. We are a Jedi, but I'm, I'm just here to steal your things. There we go. Don't mind me. Now, obviously, like I said, that's why the, the dark side comes across as the crazy fucking lunatic playthrough. Because you could just break down that guy's door and say, time to die. Um, sorry, I wrecked your night. It's 50 credits for the com inconvenience. Okay, I guess it was an honest mistake. You Thank better you. pay more attention to where you're going. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Um, by which I mean, I'm sure you've got something more than worth 50 credits in here. Uh, kinda. Med pack's like 25 credits, parts 25 credits, plus 4 credits change. That was alright. Plus, we, you know, we're not we're not getting any downside from that. I've looted the Foot Locker in our own room. Now, let's take a look at the map. There's the ship. That's where we're trying to get to. Now, we can't see a clear path over there. I think we have to also disable the security before we can get to that point anyway. Um, well, this is pretty decent. All right, a nice hidden room. Now, I'm pretty sure the security tunnel is through this door. Again, I haven't got up to this bit in my single player yet. Oh, they're immediately just going to attack us because, of course, they are. Oh, nice. What a good hit that was. Did you see that? That was insane. So, let's test out Kandoros a second. So, if we go to... Um, him. Turn that off. Go rapid shot. Oh, because he's already in combat. We can't. Shit, that's a bit of a shame. What about that one? Okay, they're both going to die before he gets around. Oh, no. We're good. Yeah, look at this guy. He's absolutely peppering him. He's not very accurate right now. But if we can get... Like, that's a, a particularly good strategy. It's having a guy with, you know, like this rapid fire weapon. Giving him the high level rapid shots. And then also hitting them with four speed. So they get another attack again. And then they just, like, at the start of the turn, they'll just destroy everyone. One of my favorite strategies in this. I really rarely play the range build. I should probably do that in KOTOR too, you know. Maybe play as the, the Jedi that we play as. will have, like, force powers. And then have, like, two ranged characters on either side of us. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, who's got the best computer skill? Zero. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, has anyone got any computer skill? I feel like Jerry King we might have given computer skill in hindsight. Um, how the fuck do we find out, though? Oh, here we go. Uh, skill rank, zero. Bastila, skill rank, zero. Kandra, skill rank, zero. In fact, we've got a minus one to it. What do we have a minus one? We must have something reducing that, then. Weird. Okay, well, it doesn't matter too much. All right, um, we got, we're going to need plenty of components, then. We have to pay the base cost. Having a huh? computer stat will give you bonuses to that. Um, spikes, we've got ten. So it doesn't matter who uses it, as long as it's not Jerry King, so he gets a minus one. Security systems. Disable hangar security is ten spikes. Open all security doors for three spikes. Um, seeing as we can bash them down, I'm going to see if we can save up the 10 spikes to actually just open the, the hangar door without them to piss around too much. Alright. We're going to have to ransack this whole base looking for spikes then. And plus it's, you know, XP as well, so I don't mind too much. That one was way less impressive. But that first comment we got into is she did, like, the triple flurry and every, every shot hit. That was incredible. Like, that one as well. I think it's these strength gloves, you know. Because she's got quite a high dex anyway, from what I remember. So, her, her strength on top of that is going to make her an absolute powerhouse. Oh, God. This is, okay, still one of the big issues with this game. Uh, I saw that, and the issue is to turn around, to, like, actually go in a full circle, you have to do a full circle. They can't just pivot on the spot, which means fragments are a little more lethal than this, unfortunately. All right, what have we got? Computer spikes, two. Was that enough? I'm pretty sure we only needed two more, right? Oh, shit, that might do it. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, security terminal, slice of computer, um, security systems, and then a behind. Oh, shit, we need, oh, now we've got eight. Right, fair enough. Okay, we need two more then. Log out. I'm sure we'll find some... Oh, shit. Is that costing it each time I use that? All right. Let's remember this time not to do that again. Hmm. That was kind of a waste, eh? What I did realize is quick save is F4. Oh, God. Hello. Um. Hi, I'm just a friend. Don't worry about it. Nice to meet you. 
Man, the shield's dropping no time for that lightsaber, eh? That's pretty great. I can't wait till we get to the next planet, because that's when that's when the game really, really opens up, you know, with the whole lightsaber customization. Like, the lightsaber customization in KOTOR 2 is insanely good. This one is pretty good, but in KOTOR 2 you get to change, like, even, like, uh, the, the minor mechanical components, like the button and the fucking, like, uh, the lens and, like, ridiculous stuff like that. KOTOR 2 was so good in that regard. My only complaint with KOTOR 2 compared to this game is that, oh, Christ, careful, we might die here. My only complaint with KOTOR 2 compared to this game is that KOTOR 2 feels less alive. So all the planets we go to in this are just full of NPCs and full of great stories. And they feel like really dense. In KOTOR 2 that wasn't really the case, probably because it was quite rushed in comparison. Um, like Korriban is a planet in this one, and Korriban is a planet in KOTOR 2. And this one, the, the stuff you can do on Korriban is leaps and bounds in this game above what you can do in KOTOR 2, which is a bit of a shame. Um, Hodro, hello? Can we like get him out? No, he won't even talk to me, the prick. Alright, uh, did we give a cure? We did, thank God for that. Alright, let's heal ourselves up then. Man, this is going to save us a fortune in med packs. And when we can, I'm going to go for, obviously, the, the upgraded version of cure as well. Look at that, we're already up to full HP. Sure. And seeing as our force powers just tick up over time as well, it's basically just infinite HP, assuming you're that patient. Obviously, we're not going to do that, because that's like, sort of, not really cheating, but you know, it feels really, really scummy. Oh, God. How rude. I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I'm sorry. How can Davik... I'm sorry. Uh, Davik just wanted me to make sure he didn't need anything. Well... I oh, suppose thank I God. can forgive the intrusion in this case. I don't require anything. Davik sent me to uh, bash down your door. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, scurry on back. You gave me five credits. Excellent. Breaking into a man, giving us five credits, and we're going to steal his things. I love that you can uh, bash down the door and then talk yourself out of the situation. Yeah, no, D Davik sent me in, honestly. He didn't give me a key, so I just had to, you know, laser it down with my uh, with my futuristic laser sword. I suppose it would be historical laser sword, wouldn't it? That was always happens. And this is like past Star Wars as well. Like, a long time ago is a really long time ago in this one. Alright, team. Just an entire room full of guards. We don't have great history with this type of thing. Why are they all shooting Bastilla? I don't know in this. Someone feel free to explain this to me in the comments, because I really don't know. Is there some way of determining what makes you, a, like, a target for enemies? Like, uh, is there an aggression stat that I don't know about, or something along those lines? Or whether it's just the first person they see. I honestly don't know how it works. Because ideally... If you wanted to really min-max like that, I like, say for example, like I'm playing Divinity, right? I'm playing Divinity 1 and Divinity 2 with, like, two different groups of people. Um, in Divinity, you can take, a, a, like, a trait called, a, a perk called Stench, which basically makes you disliked by your average NPC, but also makes it so you're less likely to be targeted in combat. So you take something like that on, on Jerry King, the last cannon, or Bastila, have them focus Candorus to pull aggro, but I don't think a system like that even exists in that game, does it? I'm pretty sure it's all just purely, you know, random where the AI is target, or generally the first person to go in the room, for the most part. Alright. Um, oh shit, hello. Um, don't mind me. Oh god, okay, he's dead. A bastard is dead. Right. Silly me. Okay, it's all down to Candorus. Take him out, Candorus. I was just thinking about it. There we go. Oh, spice lab technicians. Okay, they're not that bad. They're just, they're just nerds. They're just space nerds, but it's fine. Kill the space nerds. He seems like a space jock, you know. Kandra strikes me as the type of guy that would uh, would be wedging these guys back at the Space Academy. It's never a school, is it, in, in sci-fi? It's always the Academy. Let's go to the Academy. So like, let's go to the Stormtrooper School. Die! I suppose Stormtrooper School makes it sound a lot less scary than it actually did. I doubt Nazi Germany also had Stormtrooper Schools. Oh, come on, Kandra. Jesus. At least, look at this. He's out healing the damage, though. Four, one... Come on, heal again. Prove me right. There we go. Look at this boy. Unstoppable. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is why we need him as the tank constantly. I should probably just control Candorus and just send him into rooms first. Man, he's, he's like a juggernaut. Look at this beast. Wiped out this entire room. Meanwhile, our, our Jedi, our, our very skilled sort of Jedi prodigy and Jerry King himself, the glass cannon, just lying on the floor. Just completely unconscious. This random dude. As Ron Perlman himself wipes them all out. Oh, this is... <clears throat> Sometimes the combat drags on for ages in this game. My god, that took a long time. Right, have we got anything to steal? Lots of containers in here. Uh, nothing, eh? Oh, we got some remains. Give me some spice. I don't even know what spice is. I assume it's some, some drug, let's be honest. I, I get that impression that Davit's kind of a bad guy. You know, I imagine he'd be doing some drug smuggling. Alright, uh, Bastila, yes. use, your, use your magical powers. Thank you, Houdini. Because Houdini wasn't magical, was he? Punched in the stomach and then died instantly. It's a bit less impressive than being able to cure people of, you know, sure. bullet wounds from five foot away. Okay. I feel like this is the way to the dock, so we probably can't get in here yet. 
Yeah, it does look like it. Oh, there's hang on, look, there's, it looks like there's another corridor before that. Yeah, there is. Okay, sweet. We might be okay. Hello? Alright, let's scope it out a little bit. No, there's no one in here. Try this one. We've got lots more of the base to see as well, so we won't leave until we've obviously cleared out the whole base anyway. Oh, is there another console in here? We'll go back to the other one, though, because I don't want to waste more spikes unlocking a console when we've already got one unlocked further back, you know? What did you just do then? Was that a mid-combat heal? Thank you. Very kind. Such a great character. To be fair, Jedi are kind of OP in this. They're not, like, ridiculously OP. Obviously, when you're fighting Dark Jedi, it does even it out. But fighting these guys as Jedi, I think that was a problem more in KOTOR 2. Because you generally get Force Powers a lot, lot earlier in KOTOR 2 than you do in this one. And depending on how you spec out and the build you go for, you can be just ridiculously broken. Um, Use the access card. Oh, shit. We got an access card. Right, okay. So we still need one more spike. Let's log out. I assume they give you 10 spikes over the course of this base. So there must be some other way of getting through then. Um, so this is taking us back to the throne room we were in. What have I missed? Okay, we've missed the west side of the base. It looks like there's quite a big room down here as well. That could just be decoration, but we will give it a go. Probably plenty of loot to grab as well, eh? Alright. Yep, no, look, see, we haven't left. We're the good guys. It's not what we wiped out this entire base. Man, I, I do like the dark side playthrough just for the fact that you can just kill everyone with no consequences. In fact, it's only a benefit, you know? Oh, this is the slave room? Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Hello. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate. Um. As well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. This is, this, this is degeneracy. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. That Candorous is a like weeb, confirmed. Whatever your desire, I like tentacle girls. <laughs> um, let's... Uh, I'd love a massage. I think Bastila gets a little bit annoyed if you say that. She gets a bit upset. There's also a male slave for uh, those of you that way inclined. For for the ladies and just generally anybody who would prefer to be massaged by a by a, a male slave, I guess. What about Bastila? Can we get her massaged by a male slave? Oh god, this is going to get me banned from YouTube. Welcome to the no. slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps wow. one of the Wow. That was me trying to be inclusive, sir. saying that you know anybody inclined that way could have a male slave bath, but no, apparently not. Apparently not. Just the women. Unbelievable. I apologize. I apologize on behalf of that slave. It's 2018. Okay? Fucking slaves disobeying us. <laughs> That's bad. Alright. Um. Okay, we've been in there, though. Guest room? We've been everywhere. What the fuck have I missed? Uh, maybe we can just open all security doors, because I feel like we can't open just the hangar door. Maybe opening the security doors will open the hangar door, but the downside to that is it also opens all the other doors as well, so you'd have to fight the enemies as you run through. Well, I don't see why you wouldn't do that anyway. Unless you were some weirdo who didn't want to, you know, get XP in this game to stay leveled with it. Alright, uh, let's give it a go. Um, let's use the access card. Access system commands. Uh, open all security doors. We good? Overload terminal? That might do it. System commands. Okay, disable hanging security is 10 spikes. Uh, what if I just try it? In insufficient. Um, security cameras. Let's go uh, hanger. Yeah, nothing. Okay, weird. Let's just see what happens if we try and unlock the door. Maybe that's maybe that's done it. Maybe I've just wasted spikes. Who knows? We've got some XP either way, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, hang up doors. Nope. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Because there clearly is not enough spikes. What have I missed? I must have missed something. Uh, vice lab. Barracks. Throne room. Barracks. Barracks. Guest room. What if we blow up the terminal? Fuck it. Alright, uh, Bastila is going to be the sacrificial lamb because she's got the lowest HP right now. I suppose technically Jerry King's got the lowest HP, but, you know, I'm going to blow you up. Alright, um, who's access card? System commands, overload. Yes? Did that do anything? Are we free? Nope. Security? Didn't work. Didn't work. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do in this, but I genuinely don't. Okay, this could, uh, this could take me some time to try and work it out. I thought that you just... Maybe we did need more spikes. Maybe I've maybe I've royally fucked this up. Maybe we maybe we can't go past this part of the game, eh? Seems like that'd be a bad design choice. I must have missed something. Oh, what about the dude in here? We never did find out what that did. Maybe we have to release him from his cage. That's all I can think of right now. No oh, cage release. Thank you. All right. You have. Hello. Uh. Couldn't sit by and let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward. Information. To be the pilot of <gasps> Ghost to the disable the security system. Right, that's what we need to do. To disable the I'm just an idiot. You can use those Thank you, yeah. Alright, uh, you're free to go now. Goodbye. Light side points. Light side points, come on. What? We just released this potential 
He was a prisoner for a reason, I imagine. I'm sure he must have broke some law. Well, that's great. Because uh, I've also got solo yeah, mode turned on. So now we can just go back to Bastila. Uh, we can turn off solo mode. This is this is high quality uh, speed run strats. I uh, will wait for Jerry King to get back over, and then I'm going to heal everyone up. Is he, is he running over? Yes. Thank you. All right. What can I do? No, no, you stay here. You guys stay here. All right, and let's get. Uh, because I know there's a boss fight through here, so I'm gonna wait for the whole squad to get here. Get us everyone up to full HP. Get the. The fuck are they? Here they go. Where's Candorus ran off to? What? Where are you? Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> sometimes I really wonder how this got game of the year. I mean, it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. The AI is a little bit. The AI is definitely like the funkiest feature with this game. Definitely the worst part, I'd say. All right. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, don't mind me. I j I've just got to, uh, you know, start the next part of the yes. mission. What the fuck are they doing? Honestly, you people drive me mad. Just stand still. Stop. All right, we're good. Unbelievable. Let's get fully healed up. Let's get fully healed up. Uh, we might have to use a med pack on Basler. Honestly, I feel like it'll be worthwhile. We might also want to wait for her uh, force powers to increase. Uh, that's a lot of... That's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to do... Oh, for fuck's sake, we still have to disable that. Ooh... All right, this time I'm com. Do wait, we blew this one up, didn't we? Apparently, it still it still works fine. Okay. Um. Right. Return to root menu. System commands. Disable hangar security. Return to root menu. Log out. We're good. Hacker man. My jaw keeps like crunching. It's driving me mad. It's not. It's not good to do commentary when you've got a crunchy jaw. Hello. Damn no Sith! They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner. Or Oh yeah, the Sith are bombing the whole planet, aren't they? You might remember from last episode, Malak ordered the whole planet to be bombed to shit. Ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Oh, I hate Kalinor. I think he's the worst character. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs they're dropping will kill us all. Sure, whatever. Right. Okay, uh, Davit Kang and uh, Kalo Nord boss fight. Here we go. Let's go uh, poison grenade initially. Let's open it up strong. Let's just launch a shit ton of grenades and start it off, eh? Plasma. Oh my god, we got plasma grenades? Those things are lethal. Um, you can chuck one at Kalo Nord. That's a pretty good start. He's still got his shields up, though, so we'll chuck another one. Wow. Oh, maybe shields prevent grenade damage. I didn't realize they... No, they don't. Okay, fair enough. He just had his shields on. Right. Flurry him to death. Take him out. Uh, Candorus? Can you stun this dude? Because he's, he's kind of wrecking me right now. Concussion grenade. Yeah. That's it. Get it out there. Candorus, please. Uh, Bastler, you need to heal yourself up pretty ASAP. Because we're going to get screwed yes. otherwise. Heal. Shit. Wow. She got the heal in, but it was too late. All right. We could be screwed here. Um, right. Power Blast, Davit Kang. We run through the door. No, we cannot. I think we're about to lose. Um, hang on. Ow, ow, ow. Don't shoot me. I'm going to quick save. See if I can, see if I can save it. Shit. All right. That's great. Um, when was our last auto save before then? Oh my God. All the way back to the start of that. Seriously? It's a fucking game. All right. Hang on a sec. I, I might have to, I might have to struggle through this fight for a minute. Okay. Um, remember, quick save before you get into boss fights. Heal. Heal. Fuck's sake. Hang on, let me tidy this up. I'm taking all of you with me. That took fucking ages. To I basically had to get extremely lucky with healing and keep chucking grenades at... Oh my god, they actually stood up. Damn those no, I had to keep chucking grenades at goddamn ears. Davit Kang until eventually he died. Because I remember that all you needed to do was beat him, not beat Kalo Nord. God damn, that was annoying. Alright, I'm pretty sure we get some good armor off of him though. Hey, look at that. Davit's war suit, Davit's visor, I'll take that. We can't loot Kalo Nord though, can we? Um... No. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here, team. Base Jerry. Soon you will level up, my friend. Soon. Maybe even today. Excuse me? Wait, what? How can I help? Nope, shut up. Then I... Yeah, what are you... Why? You're... What? Ford? Ford? Ford Ebonhawk. There we go. Uh, yes. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Thanks, Candorus. My God, what a state that was. Oh. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, take two. There we go. Sorry, cutscenes. You have to obviously have to tap back in before cutscenes. I mean, what is this? That's an ominous ship, by the way. Very ominous. 
Wow, that's what I tab back in for, really. To see a ship fly over a planet menacingly. <gasps> Who could it be? He looks potentially very evil. Taris is defenseless against um, look in the background. They are offering Does anyone else no see that? The city <laughs> is in ruins. Our, our party is stood there, that's so good. I feel like that might be something to do with the widescreen thing. I don't think you're supposed to see that. Yeah, that's how you rule an empire. You uh, bomb the shit out of your subjects. That generally, that generally earns you their respect. So they're just uh, blowing the fuck out of Taris now. Just blowing the fuck up out of it. Gone. Look at that. that look at that building explode. See that? Gone. And that means we can never come back. So I'm really glad we got all those missions done. Oh my god, are we going to escape? Oh, how do we know if we escaped? Besides the fact that we stood up apparently on Darth Malak's bloody Sith flagship's fleet bridge there. Sith flag... Sith... Huh. <clears throat> my jaw hurts. I can't talk very well today. It's not good considering this is my warm-up video, like I've said many times. It's really hard to do commentary when my fucking jaw keeps cracking constantly. Goodbye, Taris. That's it. Wipe it off the face of the universe. Did he say wipe it off the face of the planet? Might say galaxy. I don't remember. Oh, great. Here we go. One of my favorite sections. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold this. Here we go. Until we get those you guys remember episode in. four of Star Wars? Sometimes referred to as a New Hope. Do you guys remember that? Because you're going to fucking remember it, whether you like it or not. This is where they really start to hammer home the fact that this is a Star Wars game. Great. One of the worst sections in any game ever made. You get to stand here and do a turret section. And not only that, but it's incredibly difficult to judge where the bullets are going to end up. Goodbye. At least in KOTOR 2, it was a little easier to control. Goodbye. Alright. Uh, no, you can die as well. What the fuck have I missed? Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, God. The controls are so bad. Like, I have my mouse on quite a high sensitivity just for day-to-day -day stuff, right? This is unbelievable. Like, I'm actually having to drag the whole fucking desk around with it. Uh, uh, just die. Please. Please. Oh, my God. The DPI is unbelievable. There we go. All right. This is the last one. Get me out of this turret section, please. I thought that was a good idea. He's shooting. Not quite as bad as the turret section in Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, though. That was... Guess we've got another gripping cutscene coming up, team. Here we go. Brace yourself for this. We're gonna see a ship flying away or flying over something. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Ah, <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10. This looks so bad. In This looks just fucking god awful on my screen. Hopefully it looks better on YouTube because holy shit, 1080p does not suit this game. It's not aged well. The cutscene, the, like, the game itself looks fine. The cutscenes though, my god, what a state. And there we go. The tutorial is over. Because that was basically all entirely tutorial. Oh. Is it, is it minimized again? Have I got all... No, we're good. There we go. She's not talking. Darn to eat. Oh, there we go. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. Oh, no. Safe. You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. Well, at least the, the building's under the one stories high still stood standing. Or under two stories high. Between. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. I don't know why they wouldn't attack Dantooine, seeing Dantooine is basically just a friggin' farming planet. Um, we should be safe here. Why not? We're going to Dantooine. So in this, uh, Coruscant is still the seat of the, the Jedi High Council, as you've seen from probably the prequel movies. But there are other Jedi Councils around, right, on separate worlds, because obviously the galaxy is a big fucking place. So one is on Dantooine. We can get supplies here and recuperate. And it's also a Jedi Academy. Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Not a very big one, though. It, it, it's it's bigger in KOTOR 2. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. Oh, wait, because our home planet got fucking glassed. I wonder why. She must be she must be taking it pretty hard. Everything she, she's ever known has just been completely annihilated in about five minutes. She must be taking it pretty hard. Her entire home planet has just been blown up. I've must be difficult. With the council. That grass so fucking green. That's like offensively green. Oh god. Jedi Council. It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. 
What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Cart, but I cannot tell you. Not the Jedi Council. It's a Jedi Council. I, I feel like I need to point that out. We see the Jedi Council next game. This game, this is just a small, you know, Council. We'll do things your way for a while. Sure. Do you talk to the Jedi Council? You'll be able to switch characters in and out of your party. Sure. Um. And there we go. This is basically... Dantooine is basically sort of like the uh, the home area. Sort of like your hub. Along with the Ebon Hawk. But this is really your sort of... Your go-to point for where you need, you know, gear and shit. Um, I'm just looking around. Because I have got the KOTOR restored content mod. So there are other things to see that aren't normally in the game. So we should probably just take a look around briefly. But we will get into the uh, into the Dantooine side of things next episode. Let's grass. I don't know if it's showing up on, on YouTube or well. It's like offensively green. It's, it's incredibly green. It's actually the greenest grass I've ever seen. It's vomit worthy. Holy shit. Oh, look at the birds in the sky. Man, what a nice game. Uh, like I said, this game feels much more alive than other games that uh, are sort of comparable to it. I mean, especially like Morrowind. This game feels so alive compared to that. Hello. I'm not a Jedi, no. Um, this guy sells stuff. Let's see what he's got for sale. Part of the Zerka Corporation, which is sort of... Uh, uh, Galactic Amazon. Let's put it that way. What the hell is this? Sanisky's Blade. Um, it does ion damage as well. That's kind of cool. 3 to 12, plus 3 ion. Um, 19 to 20 critical. It's also balanced. It's also upgradable. And it's got a plus 2 attack modifier. This is a very good weapon. Holy shit. It's got Jürgen Coulter's Assault Rifle. Also very good. Um, energy. Ion versus Droid. Attack modifier plus 3. Upgradable. Stealth Field Reinforcement. Well, that's Stealth Field, so obviously that's irrelevant, because we're not going to be doing that. Interface Band. Uh, computer use plus two, demolitions plus two, security plus two. Might be good for Jerry King. I want to train him in security and computer use. Uh, probably like persuade security and computer use are going to be the things I put points into. Just because he's sort of, uh, you know, he's our main character, right? Um, infiltrated gloves. Let's give security plus four, dex plus one. Jesus. These guys sell a lot of good stuff. A lot of Pazak bands. Uh, breath masks. Gives you immunity to poison, that type of thing. Talk about that in a minute. Um, what does he sell? Let's see what we've got in stock. So these are your, your sort of generic... Oh, this guy sells droid stuff. Oh, I'm not really interested in that because we're never going to have a droid follow us around. Not in this game. We will next game. Um, and there's also a big... I don't remember this hot guy being here. This must be part of the restore content mod. Who is Lur Arca Solus? Hello. Uh, go ahead. Brundil of Sulan. Ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorians. His daughter was kidnapped. Um, sure? Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your girl. Sure. I mean, that's probably going to turn into a mission. Shuma. Hello. Um, you're a hut. Why is he here? I'm merely a businessman who's been cast out from his home. Your counselor's granted him asylum. I don't remember this, dude. What are you doing here? Then from the fires of conflict. That's our thumbnail right there. Man. Based on Necker subjective... Sure, okay. Is this guy just a flavor text character? What does he do? What are you doing here? Doesn't do anything then. Must be going now. Yeah, he's actually just a character there for flavor. All right, we'll leave it on this nice scene. Thank you for watching. Uh, look forward to more KOTOR 2 because this is where the game really opens up. We can start doing our Jedi training. And all of these levels that I spent all game painstakingly saving up, we can do something good with.